Oh, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Night2727. Playing a little Batman Arkham Origins on Nintendo Wii U. Alright, this one's to show some gameplay. Um, a little awkward holding this thing, like, recording at the same time. Trying to hold it in a clear position for you guys. So you can get a good shot. Just finished the story. Absolutely love this game. Might even consider buying some DLC. And yes, there's DLC for the Wii U version. So, I mean, as you see, it's pretty much the same exact game. I'm not really missing out. And I mean, there's a lot of people who really just down the Wii U for no reason. You know, saying that it's a catch up. Nintendo has to keep consistently putting out Mario, 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 because you guys are hating. The developers are hating. Like I said, Ubisoft has a fully finished game that's done. It's just done. Give it to the Wii U. Give it out now. Like, what are you waiting for? Oh, we're waiting for sales. Well, Mario Kart 8 boosted the sales. You know, nobody believes in the system because of the Wii, I guess, and the Wii didn't really have that much... Uh, better graphics than the GameCube, but look at this. Is this bad? Let's make sure the camera's fully focused. You know, is this really bad? Is this horrible? No, it's not horrible. I mean, it's it's honestly like the developers are hating. Like they're basically saying they're waiting for uh, Super Smash Brothers, which is understandable. You know, Super Smash Brothers will dominate though. It's going to come out there, and a lot of people are going to want to buy it because of Smash Brothers. And, you know, same thing with Mario Kart 8. It increased the sales, so maybe we will get a hold of this game. And, you know, Watch Dogs is still on the way. I'm personally waiting. I would have got Watch Dogs on either Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. I do not own a PlayStation 3 or Xbox One. I most likely will be going with a PlayStation 4, but, eh, the price. Eh, it's completely unattractive. Nah. I can live without it. That's why I own a Wii U. It's cheaper. And um, it's still a next-gen console. It's the first next-gen. Remember, next-gen does not mean pretty graphics. Stop worrying about graphics. Graphics don't mean a thing. I mean, because I mean, we grew up on Nintendo. This is a Nintendo console. We we grew up on pixels. You guys have literally turned to fanboys. All about pretty graphics, which is the only reason why the PlayStation Four. And the Xbox One are getting a bunch of, you know, amazing games because they don't even know how to fully develop for the Wii U. The Wii U has untapped potential, just like any Nintendo console. Nintendo is very tricky. They may use cheaper, um, you know, hardware, but it's to, to really save and really make a profit. They're not too worried about all of the graphics, even though they can still do it. It's up to developers. They challenge these developers to give them the opportunity to unlock the full potential. Look at Capcom. Even though everybody's pissed at Capcom for not giving out Mega Man Legends 3. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my gosh. Put down the guns. Oh my god. I might die here. Stop. All of you stop. No, no, don't dodge. But look at uh, Capcom. Capcom has gave us... Uh, Mega Man Legends 3. I mean, you saw it. You saw how good it looks, and it was just outstanding for the DS, uh, 3DS at the time. Now, now, look at now. They gave out Resident Evil Revelations for the Nintendo 3DS. Basically, a console game. Full online co-op, you know, good, I think like around 10 hour story. Console-like graphics. Ooh, people in these guns. Console-like graphics, and it was so good it got ported to the consoles for an HD port. And that was on a Nintendo 3DS where they said that the Vita was out, you know, gonna outshine it. You know, it had better graphics supposedly, but yet running off a cartridge just matched the Vita, if not surpassed it, with Resident Evil Revelations. Excuse the poor gameplay. Um, very awkward. You know, I'm looking through my phone. So yeah, a little, little awkward. But I just wanted to show you some gameplay and give you some action. But, if you see Resident Evil Revelations for the Nintendo 3DS, and then you see the HD version, it didn't really do much. It looks exactly the same, just about. You know, so it's like, what makes y'all think that they can't do these things with the Nintendo Wii U? 
You really think that the Wii U is that bad? Do you really want to listen to everybody else? Or do you want to actually get your mitts on it and prove, you know, the other people wrong? Play Mario Kart 8. That's more of a next-gen kind of title. These are just ports, and they look slightly better. You know, people say they look exactly the same. I've watched a bunch of YouTube comparisons, and I mean, it's very slightly. It's not like they're really trying to outdo. They just want it to be on there, give you the option to have better games, which is a good thing. So we have, you know, these kind of free roam games, this, Assassin's Creed, and we have, um, you know, Watch Dogs on their way. And what was the reason with Watch Dogs? They actually put it on the back burner. It could have been out. It could have been out with the other systems on time, but they chose not to. These are the reasons why people are hating on the Wii U, because of the developers, and because of you guys hating on stuff, of course the developers are going to hate. If, if the community is not really too hype about a system, why would they really, you know, put a game out there? We got Ubisoft that has a full game that they're not releasing, so it's proof that they're just hating. The Wii U looks fine, the graphics look fine, it's running fine, Assassin's Creed Black Flag fine, so what's the problem? Why would you hate on this console that's cheaper and is still a next-gen console? Without Nintendo, your precious PlayStation 4 would not exist. Now, I'm not saying that the next-gen games aren't worth it, I'm just saying they aren't worth the price. we still got Hyrule Warriors coming out, which is a Dynasty Warrior kind of crossover with The Legends of Zelda, and that's going to show you better graphics. You know, there are more games coming out, but it's just they have to win over other people, the developers, to show you that these games are actually worth putting on the Nintendo Wii U. So I'm going to be sticking with my Nintendo, and I'm going to be quite satisfied like I already am. And here's another thing. Now, let's say that we do get this exclusive game, whatever it is, I think more developers are going to start to realize that the Nintendo Wii U does not suck. With Super Smash Bros. coming out, and I mean Mario Kart 8 is already phenomenal, we're going to start getting better games, and a lot of things are going to start coming out, and it's going to you know, draw some attention to the Wii U. So... In all due time, we are going to get a lot of better, you know, a lot much better content. I mean, even Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is great. Now, here's an example of hatred. Um, the, the new Batman game, Batman Arkham Knight, might not be the, coming to the Wii U. Why? Because they're choosing not to. It's not that they technically can't do it. I mean, even looking back in the day, the Game Boy Advance was keeping up with a lot of the GameCube games. Not like necessarily graphic-wise, but you know, there would still be a Game Boy Advance version. You know, you can still make a version for the Wii U. It's just simply they don't want to. You know, I mean, even if the graphics don't look as good, they don't even know. They're not even going to try. That's the thing. That's what gets me. They're not even going to try. Oh, well, nope, nope, nope. It's just not going to work. Nope. Did you try? Did, did you even look into it? Like, did you even give it a shot? I don't think these developers do. They're just like, oh, nope. We're not going to do it. Yeah, we're going to be fanboys. Nope. If you have Arkham City and Arkham Origins on this console, why do you think that the other Arkham Knight wouldn't be able to exist? And even if it is a graphical cut, I mean, I don't think that they fully unlocked the full potential of the Wii U just yet. You have to develop from the ground up for something like this. I think that they're basically just porting the 360 version. And, you know, just working with it. Nah, that's not how you do things. You gotta build it from the ground up. It shows that they do it for the other consoles. You know, if they're gonna port a 360 version, that means they build it from the ground up on the 360, and then they're trying to port it over. Don't do that. Build it from the ground up like you did on the other consoles, and this is a problem. They're just winging it, you know? And I mean, look at the graphics. Like, it's fine. They don't suck. But, you know, here's just a quick video. I'll be doing Assassin's Creed next, just getting some action and talking to you guys about the Nintendo Wii U. This is Batman Arkham Origins. It's fine. I've completed the story, haven't really ran into any problems. Teeny bit of frame rate issues here and there, to be honest. Just a teeny bit. But, it shows that they don't try. Here's an example. We have, um... 
Lego City Undercover for the Nintendo 3DS. It had long loading times and stuff. In comparison, you know, it wasn't really that good of a game, like, graphically, and to to compare against uh, Resident Evil Revelations on a 3DS. So it shows it's just a lack of developers, honestly, when it comes down to it. If they really actually try, you won't have these issues. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, that honestly, I think is a more technically, impre it's a technically impressive game in comparison to this. And that runs smooth. So yeah, just think about that one. Here's a video for you guys, more on the way.